Okay, so I want to do an update on the nebulizer. My daughter had bronchiolitis. Uh, she was diagnosed with that by her pediatrician a week and a day ago. So he gave her this nebulizer here, and we've been using it for a week and a day. But the first, let's see here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So for the first three days, I was giving her albuterol every three to four hours. And then we went back on Monday, and since then I've just been doing it uh, twice a day. And I just wanted to show here, these are what the little vials look like. Uh, he actually gave her Ipriotha, it's spelled I-P-R-A-T-R-O-P-I-U-M bromide. This is for her congestion, and then the albuterol looks exactly the same. But what you do is you just screw off the tops of these and then you just put them in this little chamber down here. And she's doing a lot better. She goes back to the doctors again on Monday just to make sure everything's good. Uh, the last update the doctor said, so it was so three days after she had started the albuterol, the doctor said, that he still hears some wheezing, but she was a lot better. That's why he gave the two medicines and then cut it down to twice a day. So she goes back on Monday, and hopefully he says everything is good. But I really wanted to make this video to give anybody that has to use a nebulizer, it's right here, just a little suggestion. So my daughter is 14 months old, and trying to do this whenever she's awake is very difficult because she wants to eat the mask, she wants to throw the mask, she wants to bite the tubing, she wants to pull it off. So I love doing it when she's sleeping and I tried doing it when she was laying down and propping it up but it just didn't work well so what I actually do is I have her in this high chair and then I just recline it. I recline her high chair all the way back and I have a blanket here and as you can see the tube just runs up and then I have it on an angle here because if you try to do it like in a crib, it, it keeps falling because it's not at an angle. And this, with the chamber here, it has to be somewhat upright for the mist to come out. If it is flat, then you'll just get the air coming out. So I just wanted to give a little tip. If you have a baby, I think doing it when they're sleeping is great and having it at the angle there. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not you know saying what to do. But this actually is working really, really good for our daughter, and these two medications that her doctor gave her are working very, very well as well. Alright, thanks for watching.